I just wanted to show you guys my incredible craftsmanship. Look at this rainbow I drew in literally five minutes. I'm an artist? Anyway, rainbow aside, I know it's like the best decoration you've ever seen in any YouTube video ever. <laughs> I'm literally standing up against my closet door <laughs> and I have this rainbow as my background now so so yeah um I guess it's a little bit more decorated now hope you guys appreciate it regardless of my new decoration obviously it's the best thing you've ever seen or you wouldn't be watching this video I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um how I had a glow up in a non-physical way. So, um, I don't know if this is a natural thing that people go through. Maybe it is, maybe it is a natural thing. But when I was younger, when I was in middle school and high school, I was kind of a jerk. Like, unempathetic, rude, um, maybe a little bit sarcastic, definitely sarcastic um and i felt like everyone else was an idiot i mean this is probably just regular puberty stuff but um i felt like everyone else was an idiot and that i was basically the only person to exist in their own little world um and i guess i didn't really I couldn't really form close friendships when I was younger. It was really difficult for me because on top of being socially anxious, awkward, and not super like considered attractive, I mean I guess for, for high school standards for like whatever kids find attractive, it was like, it was very difficult for me to find myself and to try and understand like why all this stuff is happening to me. So you get the picture, when I was in high school I was kind of a brat, um, on top of dealing with emotional issues and my home life not being so great, I didn't really make friends in the best way. Um, you know, the friends that I did have in high school, I feel like it was mostly out of convenience and fear of being alone rather than actually connecting with someone on a very, on like a deep level. Um, so one of the things that really I think <laughs> held me together in high school and um, you know, uh, before high school, middle school obviously, was talking about people, just Talking about people, talking trash about people, talking about people's appearances, talking about, you know, just what they, weird people, like what they do, and it's like, I feel like most of that was just to take the heat off of myself. Um, I never really set out to hurt anyone, specifically, but looking back on it, I feel so bad about some of the stuff that I used to say and do. And thinking about the videos that I make now and how insecure I am about my appearance, I couldn't even imagine how those people must feel if they would were to ever see this and think, oh, you know, I remember that girl said something about me one time or I remember like, just not having a good time in high school and n that person wasn't there for me and now I'm sitting here thinking about it like oh my god I was a bad person back then yes I was a kid I was a child right like that's what kids do but at the same time I feel like I don't know I was capable of not being like that and I decided to give in <laughs> just to save myself and that's not how I want to be for the rest of my life. I thought about who I wanted to be, if I wanted to be someone who talked trash or if I wanted to be someone who was really supportive and nice. And did I want to be someone that people 
would come to for advice or come to just for comfort because I don't think I've ever been that person for someone and it's kind of difficult to realize that nobody has ever seen you in a close way because maybe me closing myself off and only really showing parts of myself has actually worked against me when it comes to making long-term friendships and duh I mean if you don't show yourself how are you gonna make real friends but making long-term friends when I was younger wasn't really a priority I think I just wanted to survive like school so that I could move out and then make new friends because now I'm looking back and thinking, wow, I may have hurt many people just by saying something or repeating something, carrying something along when it's really not my business. I have adopted a new mentality on dealing with people and their issues. In any situation that I'm in, if someone, say at work, and this could also be the reason that people at work don't like me very much because I don't gossip anymore at all. So when it comes to gossiping or talking about someone, I, I look back on how I was in high school and I continuously remind myself every time something comes up that, um, you know, is sort of like pressuring me into talking or saying something awful and I'm just like, mm, I don't want to be that person again. I don't want to be... I don't want to be someone that people don't like. I don't want to be someone that people are scared to get to know. And I already have that issue <laughs> with multiple other, multiple other reasons that I have, you know, people not wanting to get to know me. So it's like, if I'm also a terrible, horrible, no good rumor spreader, then there's really no point in trying because I obviously am an awful person if I choose to do that. There's no point in even trying to make close relationships because I'm, I would just end up destroying them. Anyway, so that's kind of my experience with developing empathy a little bit later than some people. Um, I'm in my 20s right now. I didn't really feel guilt about making fun of people when I was younger because I just... Maybe I just didn't feel empathy for other people because nobody felt empathy for me or they never expressed it to me. So looking back on that and consciously um, changing my behavior has helped me a lot in my mental glow up. I guess that's what I'm calling it, a mental glow up. Still really insecure, still not perfect, still having terrible days, but not hurting people in that way is like one step forward even if i'm still behind everyone else at the very least i'm not a piece of shit <laughs>